Hello everyone, welcome back to AJ's Paintings. Um, first of all, I want to thank all of you, all my lovely subscribers. I have hit a milestone which is huge for me at this point. I got thousand subscribers. Thank you so, so much uh, for subscribing, for liking my videos, for watching them and leaving me comments. I really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, today I'm going to do something which is not new, but it's new for me. I have not attempted um, a wave pour yet. So today for to celebrate my thousand subscribers, I am going to um, attempt um, a wave pour. Uh, let's hope it turns out good. I have no idea how it's going to do. Uh, but let's see. Um, so what I have done, this is a um, 20 by 20 inch canvas. Uh, it's a gallery wrapped canvas and I painted the sky and I just wanted to have some background in like behind the wave. So this is just um, flow acrylic uh, blue by Artist Loft and then I added the permanent blue. Um, which one was that? Yeah light permanent blue by artist loft uh, and i just created this uh, kind of like a gradient um i painted the sides of the canvas with the same blue um and now i'm going to see <laughs> how it's gonna do okay so the colors that i'm going to use uh the first one is this navy color um that i mixed uh so how i did it i added uh some blue and permanent sorry hold on which is it vermilion by artist loft so i mixed blue with vermilion by artist loft just a little bit of this more of the blue and you get this beautiful navy color um i'm gonna use that then i have turquoise light permanent blue metallic blue this is by artist loft as well Oh, this one is by Liquitex Basics, not Artist Loft, Liquitex Basics. Um, then I have Ice Blue by Deco Art. I'm just gonna use a little bit of this, not too much. I have Aqua by Artist Loft. I'm gonna use a little bit of Silver by Liquitex Basics and some White by Artist Loft. So these are the colors that I'm going to use. Um, so let's see, let's see how it goes. So I'm gonna start let me just put these away so i haven't done a pour with uh, with a background that's not wet like um i have done everything where th the background would be poured uh, this is the first time i'm trying the where i painted this already and this is not wet um this is already dried so i don't know how the edges are going to be i'm learning with you <laughs> let's see how it will do so let's start with the navy. So let me just um, give myself an idea where I want my wave to go. So I'm just gonna quickly make kind of like a edge for the wave. Okay, so this is how I want it to go. Um, now I have an idea, so I'm just going to start pouring. Okay, and now I'm going to do the turquoise by Liquitex Basics. So all I'm doing is just layering paints in. Oh, all these paints are mixed with Floetrol and water. Um, so same same consistency that I have. For all my Dutch pores, uh, there's 40 grams of paint, 80 grams of flow troll, and 30 grams of water. And this one is metallic blue. So I don't want to see any more white left. I'm going to try to cover 
the whole area okay adding a little bit of ice blue I really like this color it's very close to that other um, metallic but it gives a different effect okay aqua I want this here on the corner a little bit in here okay not everywhere and then my silver I'm not going to open the, the big cap because I don't want too much so I'm just going to add some sparks okay last one is the white again not going crazy with this but I do want to have some kind of shade not shade like highlights okay maybe on the top here all right um huh. okay <laughs> I don't know I'm a little worried but let's see I don't want to knock these over because they are not they don't have their lids on them okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop all the bubbles that I that might be there okay There is no silicone in there. So I'm not expecting like those huge cells. There are a lot of bubbles though. Wish me luck. Sorry, my hair dryer isn't plugged in. I just realized that. There we go. Okay, so let me try on the lower speed. My hair dryer doesn't really do much on the low speed, but I'm gonna flip this one. not enough paint in here just gonna add a little bit
Okay, so this is as far as I'm gonna take it with the hair dryer. Wow, wow, I love what's going on in here. It's just this part that needs more tension. Um, so I think I'm gonna go at it with my, let me see if I should try some with the palette knife first and then try to do it with the blow um, straw. It helps when there is um, a background color to work with but since I don't have um, you know the wet background it is a little bit harder to kind of work with these but let's see Okay, so let me try with the straw now. Wow, my goodness, I love how it's going like that. I just want this part to be uh, a bit more kind of like a wave-like. Maybe a little bit of navy blue I am making a mess of my background though <laughs> towel I will go over it in a minute I feel like this should be kind of like like that
Okay. And then just adding a little bit of this blue in there too. going to add some of this yeah that's more like it Okay. Wow. I, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it because I love what's going on in here. And now I really like what's going on in here too. I mean, it really looks like it's going up. I would prefer it to go a bit higher on this part. Um, I'm thinking if I should, um, add some kind of a lighter yeah i think i i'm gonna add a little bit of a like a lighter color in here because it would look really cool if it was it felt like it was coming this way and then it went like that so it should go a bit higher in here yeah okay let me see if I should just blow at it Yep. 
that's better see now it feels like it's coming that way um, maybe a little bit lighter in here too just like a touch because it the wave is lighter inside right and I'm using these two colors this one is in the background and then I'm using white to kind of give it and also I'm gonna add a little bit of that blue metallic blue okay I'm gonna blow it from there blue white okay yep so I have some light in here and some dark over there um, and then some light on top of that dark um love the cells that are popping up this is because of that silver that i used and that metallic blue i see a lot of cells popping up which is good i feel like there should be a little bit more white in here just teeny bit There we go. Okay, that's better. Wow. I love it. Beautiful. Yeah. That is amazing. Okay, so I am thinking that maybe I should just use this or maybe I should wait until it's dry and then go back and fix the the background okay just a little bit it's hard to kind of so I'm gonna wipe every time I use it kind of give it a little bit in the opposite direction I know it looks easy when you look at the people try to see other people do it but it's not <laughs> I'm finding that out it's really fun I'm glad I did it guys if you are new please do subscribe to my channel um, I really appreciate it. Okay, so I think I should stop messing around with it. Okay, yeah, because I didn't want it to be, you know, too defined. Uh, just some coming here, some going there. So it actually looks like water. All right. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to leave this now. Um, and I'm going to let this dry. Once it's dry, I'll go over um, the background and fix a little bit. Um, I feel like it needs a little, like a bit more uh, coat. Um, because, wow, 
this is amazing i love this um, i hope you like it too uh, i'm going to show you a close-up and show you all the cells that have developed in here and what's going on in here uh, it's really cool I hope you like it too. Please leave me a like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. And if you want me to try some other techniques, uh, do let me know and I'll give them a try for sure. Uh, thank you so much for watching.